the official unboxing of my new Force RC. One tenth Warhawk four wheel drive short course truck ready to run. I went ahead and gave it kind of a preliminary inspection because of how it was shipped. I don't care for the shipping partner that they use, but we're going to unbox this and see what it really looks like. So far, it's looking really good. I haven't actually taken it out of the box or anything. Of course, I've got to get my little magnet to hold my uh, clips with. Because I don't like to lose my body clips. First thing we'll do is we'll take the receive the, the transmitter out of here and we will open it up. Transmitter box looks in pretty good shape. And here is the transmitter. Now this is a Force RC 2.4 gigahertz FHSS, okay? Transmitter. Looks like it's got a third channel right here, a third channel button right there. And I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, it takes four AA batteries. So, all in all, it's a pretty good looking transmitter. It, yeah, it's got a soft grip on the wheel. Trigger feels real good, okay. Uh, you've got your steering. You've got your trim right and left. Got your throttle trim right and left, and you got your steering trim here, and your steering looks like it says reverse and normal. This here is how you trim your steering, okay? This little knob right here is how you actually trim your steering, so gives it the fine tune. Got your on off power switch, of course, I have no batteries in it, so we will take a look at that here shortly. It comes with a little wall plug charger, okay? Of course, there's no idiot lights, I don't believe, on that. It's just a generic uh, two, two milliamp plug-in wall charger for it. Okay, and that's all that's in that box. Now we will go into this part of the packaging. This part here, of course, is your instruction manual. Looks like it comes with an antenna tube and some jumpers here and some kind of a little bumper of some sort. I don't know for sure. We'll read the instructions and find out. Okay, that's the instruction manual. Now for the truck. This comes packaged with some foam right here, which that always comes in handy. Uh, see how the truck is packaged in. All right, now we can get rid of the exterior box. Take a look at the truck. Okay. And the truck is zip tied, it looks like. Yes, it is. So the truck being zip tied, we'll cut these zip ties. Of course, we'll hold on to the chassis. And we'll cut the zip ties. That should free the truck up from the packaging. Really good looking truck. I like the looks of this. The reason why I wanted this one is uh, back in the day when I was a NASCAR fan, we, uh, we really pulled for Mark Martin. And this little truck just put me in mind of Mark Martin Valvoline Special. Uh, and I really liked it. And I've been looking at short course trucks anyway, but we will take the body pins out. Now this is supposed to come with a 2,000 mile nickel metal hydra NEMA battery, and it's right here, okay? But it is also supposed to be, well, that's a good looking body, painted up nice. Look at that. That is awesome. Number 12, Force RC Warhawk. That is an exterior decal there. I do believe that number plate, mm, yeah it is. That's an exterior decal. That's painted in. That's painted in. That's an exterior decal. So these are put on by factory, of course. There's your window decals. 
Now these are all put on by factory. And it's all painted white, base coated white underneath, which is nice. Um, looks like there's a little bit of a rub right there for some reason on the body. I am inspecting this yet just because of the way it was shipped to me. I don't I don't care for that shipper at all, you know, FedEx Smart Post. And it's usually and it's not the, the FedEx Smart Post worldwide, it's just the one that comes out of um just the one that comes out of I don't know what, what that comes from. Just the ones that come out of Ellenwood, Georgia. I'm, I'm not real pleased. These tires are stiff. Okay. These are oil-filled shocks. Hopefully you can see what's going on with it, too. Yes. Oil-filled shocks. It's got E3C connectors, which I will end up changing those anyway. Uh, because I run the Red Cat style. It is got a four, it looks like four slots here. So I should be able to set light kit up in this because I always like to run the light kit because even if it's dusk or dark, I still want to go outside and play. That servo sounds a little iffy. Okay. Motor is a dynamite 15 turn brushed along with the uh esc and there, there's your receiver it's a force rc receiver to match the radio okay and so this battery compartment is really pretty cool um it got one one clip and then it's hinged so that should accommodate if I'm not mistaken, they say up to a 3S LiPo, which is fine, but uh, I've got two 2S LiPos coming uh, because I want a couple more LiPos in my supply bay. But that is your force uh, speed pack by Dynamite, okay? And that's a 2000 NEMA battery, which I'll probably end up running that uh, over there in that ECX Doomsday. Because I like running those bigger batteries in it because of the weight factor, the balancing factor. So it is four wheel drive. That seems quiet. The tires do have a little bit of wobble in them. Okay. They are differentials front and rear. Okay. There's the antenna. It comes off the receiver. Okay, we'll deal with that here in a little bit. I'm going to have to probably break these differentials down and check them for grease because they don't feel like they're grease. They're real free spinning. Okay, this is drive shaft driven, which is pretty awesome. It's got some, some water drain holes and they claim that it is waterproof. But yeah, these. These tires are, they'd be good for on-road. They really would. I'm kind of impressed with it. It's just a plastic chassis vehicle. And we will probably end up, like I said, taking the dip, differentials out of it. Here and here. Um, looks like you've got different height adjustments for your bodies. Uh, that is about maxed out right there on the body control. I don't know if those are actual areas to remount. Now the back shocks look like they can lean in. Yeah, and then the front shocks, they might be able to move in. We'd have to check and see on that to, to make sure. But we'll set her up. We'll play with it. I know it's real soft. Got a lot of, lot of back there, so probably end up putting some 30 weight oil in my shocks, being so it's a basher. I want them to run a little hard, you know, because I don't like them to, to bottom out on a landing. 